I'm Dr. Margaret Lafferty, live from the 2017 Hot Topics in Neonatology meeting here in Washington, D.C. I'm joined by Dr. Ursula Guillen from Christiana Care Hospital, and we're here today to talk about her talk, the randomized control trial evaluating the use of a decision aid for parents facing extreme premature delivery. Welcome, Dr. Guillen. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us um, the main, what was the main objective of your talk? So the purpose of the study was to look at how we counsel mothers who are facing extreme premature delivery. Um, we randomized clinicians to counsel mothers in their usual way or to use a decision aid that was created for the purpose of counseling at the limits of viability. Great. Can you tell us what were the major findings of your study? So our primary outcome was um, decisional conflict, and it's a concept that most people in uh, neonatology are not familiar with. It's um, the feeling that one gets when they have to make a decision that where there isn't a clear um, right answer. Um, so that was our primary outcome, decisional conflict. Um, we did not find a difference in decisional conflict between our two arms of the study. Um, in fact, decisional conflict was low um, in both groups. We also found that most mothers uh, found, felt prepared for making a decision. And even though this was a secondary outcome, we did find that knowledge was higher in the arm um, that, ha that used the decision aid. Can you be a little bit more specific about these two arms of the study? So one arm is uh, routine counseling. So in whatever way uh, the counselor um, speaks to moms that are facing extreme premature delivery, um, whatever tools that they might use or just uh, in whatever their routine way of counseling is. Mm -hmm. And the second arm was using a six card decision aid um, that uses pictures and icon arrays to try to explain complicated concepts to mothers. Great, thank you. Um, and what were your main conclusions from your study? Um, our main conclusion is that more work needs to be done. <laughs> um, that while uh, knowledge is increased, um, this was a secondary um, outcome, so we can't really generalize that yet. Um, and that we still have a long way to go in um, preparing mothers for extreme premature delivery. That's great, and um, sort of building on that, where would you say we go from here? Um, I think the next step is to design a much bigger study, um, looking at uh, women across the U.S. in different types of populations. Um, our study was only at five sites in the U.S., so um, definitely something bigger would be better. That's great. Thank you very much, Dr. Guillen. That's a wrap from the 2017 Hot Topics in Neonatology meeting here in Washington, D.C.